Welcome to Doodle on Discord, everybody. That's going to look slick in the YouTube replay. Uh, just not quite so slick here live. Um, hope everybody's well. Thank you very much for joining in. Um, as you heard there in the background is uh, co-founder and co-presenter, Joff. Hi, Joff. How are you, mate? Excellent stuff. Um, Joff's going to keep an eye on the chat for us as well. So if anybody's got any questions or uh, you know about Corp Dogs in general, or if you want some help and advice uh, on the drawing that we're going to do today, um, just stick it in the chat and Joff will pick it up and draw anything to our attention that is like burning. Um, so, um, yeah, Biggie, welcome to the stage as well. How are you, mate? You're right. You're going to love this one. <laughs> Pencils. There's a little, little picture I did earlier on in one of the sessions today with a pencil going through like this monster's uh, face. Uh, that's the kind of stuff I like to teach kids to draw. Yeah, I thought so. Um, but yeah, welcome back in. I'm glad you're here. Um, the only thing is, is that you, usually in this session, mate, we, we just use the black pens. So we're not actually going to get the Poscas out. It gets all a little bit too complicated with the Posca pens. But feel free, this drawing, you know, putting the black lines on there and then going over with the colour in the Posca, that's going to look really nice as well. So um, yeah, give that a go if you can. And how how was the um how was the solo um say what did that go well? Hmm. Excellent. Yeah, you don't get quite the same amount of thinking time, do you? <laughs> yeah. Awesome stuff. Yeah, I've got a soundboard here as well. It's not quite as um, concise. I haven't got quite as much stuff as you've got in yours, but we've, we've got a, a few little bits. Not worth Look at that. Uh, yeah, so it's not quite as exciting as yours. But yeah, we use that when um, Joff does his draw. So later on in the session, what we'll do is, because uh, Corp Dogs is all about getting you creative. I'm talking to you, Biggie, and to everybody else here at the moment. Because uh, uh, Corp Dogs is all about getting you creative and growing your art collection. There's two things we're going to do today. One is we're going to do a drawing. It's all going to be step by step. I'll show you how to draw. It'll be nice and easy. Anybody can take part. Uh, and the second is uh, at the end of the session, which will take about half an hour from when we actually start. At the end of the session, we're giving something away. Joff, do you want to let us know what we're giving away this week? Nice. Well, let's should we should we get started? Thank you very much, Joff. Thanks, Biggie. Yeah, go. Awesome. Thank you, Tosh. Uh, so let's do it. Let's get some drawing done, shall we? Because we're like we're eight minutes in and we we haven't touched paper yet. Let me show you the materials you're going to need today. This is this is it. Nice and easy, yeah. 
piece of paper, pencil, and some sort of like sharpie fat pen kind of thing. Um, maybe if if you know if you want, maybe go for like a, a fine liner as well. So I've got a fat pen, which is a one point five. It's about the same size as a sharpie, and then I've got a fine liner, a zero point three, which is just something skinnier to add a bit of shading in towards the end of the session. Pencils are for losers, but we are going to use a pencil today uh, just for a few guidelines. Because because Tosh, because when when we got together and said uh, let's let's do a collab uh, for one of these beeves, the the beef the shape of the beef is like just really complicated for me. Like that oval head kind of just slanted on its side uh, and getting everything in just the right place was just just blew me away. Uh, so um, we're going to need a pencil today to help us get some of those shapes in just the right place. Okay, um, but yeah yeah if you've not seen it already, head over to is it. Uh, Maybe Tosh, you could put it, put your Twitter handle in the chat uh, as well. I think it's Beeves NFT uh, over on X. Go follow them uh, and take a look at the uh, the collab that we've done. I'm really proud of it. Thank you for asking me to to get involved. I absolutely love doing it. Uh, cheers, Joff. Yeah, I suppose that is <laughs> that's what you're meant to be there doing, isn't it? Not Tosh. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for that, mate. Uh, and there it is. Look at that. I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Let's uh, right. Let's get. What we're going to do is we're going to see if we can draw uh, like a real basic version of this character. Whilst we're doing it, I might just moan about all the bits that I found really difficult and tricky in there. But also, when you're drawing it, try and add your own little flavour, your own style to it as well, so you don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing. Obviously, we're not going to put any colour on. We're not going to go quite as complicated as that. We're going to break it down to something <laughs> nice and basic for us to do okay so grab your pencil let's go and draw this character first thing we're going to do is going to do this oval shape we just got to remember to slant it a little bit uh, and this is going to be for the head pretty much the full width of the page something like that can you see that i'm going to go darker I'm going to go over it again so you can see it uh you don't want to go too dark with your pencil lines I go dark enough with my pencil lines so that you can see it. You want to go dark enough with your pencil lines so that you can see it, which means like not very dark at all. Just makes it a lot easier to rub out later on. Okay, so there's our first point is that oval. Second bit, let's go in and put in a bit of a guideline for where the nose is going to be. So we kind of want to go about about halfway up uh, on that on that oval, but on the right hand side as well halfway up right hand side let's go and put in a little curve going across there okay once you've got that in we're going to do two squircles a squircle is something that is half circle half square uh, and so essentially we're just going to draw around this to turn this into a squircle this is going to help us with a snout and the nose so we're going to do one big one then up in the top corner we're going to do a slightly smaller one let me show you what i mean by that so just about here look there's one squircle and then up in that corner we're going to do another squircle which will be about something like that And so what, one of the things you'll notice, okay, is when, when I draw corp dogs, all corp dogs are facing straight forward. That makes it really easy to draw from a 2D point of view. Uh, and that's one of the things with beeves, because they're kind of like facing at a slight angle. They're not like all the way that way or all the way forward. They're at this slight angle. That makes them a little bit trickier to draw, especially when they've got these big noses and teeth sticking out. So that's the first challenge. We've got that nailed. So let's go and throw in some eyes. Capital M. Think like McDonald's uh, M. Yeah, big one big curve, one smaller curve. And we're going to throw that up on this squircle, but a little bit to the left. OK, so let's go and do this kind of shape. One big one, one small one, something like that. Remember, these are just pencil lines. It doesn't matter if you don't get them in exactly the right place. Joff, I'm already seeing that you said you can't draw ovals. That's a great start, mate. Uh, the good thing as well is with, with this, it doesn't actually matter if it's not a perfect oval, if it's not a if it's not a perfect circle, if it's a bit square, if it's a bit triangular, it doesn't matter too much. The same process will follow. You know, it's just your character will look a bit different. For me, one of the unique points of the of beefs was the way that the angle of the face was just kind of slanted down like that. Uh, where, where are we now? Let's go and carry on. We've got a couple more pencil lines to do. We've got a couple of ears um, uh, and some for, for the body and a happy sausage. 
uh, to throw in. So are you ready for this then? So let's go and do, uh, let's go and carry on with the eyes. Um, from here, we want to do that, that line that we've just done again, but this time we want it to go just over the pencil line at the top here. Watch this look. So from, from there, starting at the same point, finishing at the same point, up there, up there, something like that will do. The main thing is just straddle that pencil line, that head just there. We'll, we'll get plenty. I so said that's another thing, yeah. Just if you if you're drawing along, if you're getting bored, we're waiting for me to tell you what the next instruction is. Feel free to take it, take a little photo, throw it in the chat as well. It's always good to see people's progress shots. Uh, whether you think it's going well or not, it doesn't really matter. It's just a little bit of doodling. It doesn't matter if it goes a little bit wrong. If anything, uh, it gives us all something to chuckle about if uh, if it's going a little bit weird. Okay, uh, we've got our eyes in. Let's go and put in a couple of ears. So that one ear there. Little curve, one ear there, little curve, little capital C shape. About the same size. Don't stress too much about it. And uh, and then uh, the happy sausage. This is one of my favourite shapes to draw. Happy sausage. Uh, we're going to do the happy sausage. It's going to go all the way through the nose. Watch this. Uh, over on this side, you want to go quite close to the edge of the mouth. Over on this side, just kind of uh, close to the edge of the pencil line, sorry. And then over on this side, stay within the pencil line. But look, happy sausage like like that i'll go a bit darker so you can see it it kind of goes right behind that snout right behind that nose do i need to zoom in a little bit there we go that's a little bit better isn't it so yeah, happy sausage. I know it's all looking a bit messy at the moment, but we've just got a couple more lines and then we'll finish. Then we'll start inking in, then we can really make a mess. Right, last couple of lines. Let's go and throw in a body shape. So just down here somewhere, let's go and put in a, uh, a little curve across there. Line down that way, line down that way. So curve, that's the shoulders. Line down that way for the back of the arm. Line down this way, that's gonna be the chest. Now, one of the things I did with my beef, which I'm really proud of, is uh, give it a little pot belly, give it a little bit of a swollen belly. So we're going to go and throw in a little pencil line for the swollen belly now. Big D shape coming off the bottom of your page. So starting about there, curve round till you're just outside your pencil line here, just inside your pencil line here. That's, that, that's going to help us do that belly that's sticking out. Now we've spent way too long on pencil lines, so let's go and throw in some uh, ink, shall we? Uh, if you're following me on X, you'll have seen my um, lesson plan for how to draw this. Seven steps there is. So first step is the nose. Let's go and draw the nose. Are you ready for this? So, so this is where you want your Sharpie, the fatter of your pens, really. And let's get right in here. First thing we'll do, you see this small squircle, the smaller squircle that we put in there, that's going to be the nose. Right in the middle at the bottom of that small squircle, let's go and put a capital U shape like this. It's just touching that bottom line, okay? That's our first shape. Second shape from the tops of those two U shapes, we're going to hook round and go back to the bottom. So like this, look, hook round. Flick back to the bottom, hook round, flick back to the bottom. Joff, uh, yeah, spot on, mate. That's looking really good. What's worrying me is that Joff, Joff was like techie guy for the project. I was like arty guy for the project. I didn't know much about the techie side of it. Joff didn't know much about the arty side of it. And now Joff's like getting on the arty side of it. So... I'm just saying it. If I go missing, just you know where to go. Go and speak to Joff first. Right. One of the things we're going to do here is uh, one of my top techniques to help you draw uh, effectively, to help you really enjoy the process of. Uh, I, I, don't, I can't do techie, mate. To yeah, to help you enjoy the process of drawing is, uh, is to make it easier to achieve. And one of the ways to make it easier to achieve is to not chase after smooth lines. Let's chase after a wonky line. So that line that we've just done in there, we're going to go over it again. We're going to make it nice and wonky and chunky. So just give it a double lining. Technically, if you're an RE, if you're an art snob, you're going to call that line weight. But I'm going to just call it uh, double lining or double wonky. 
There you go, just uh, getting a bit more in focus. Okay, last line, let's go around that. We're gonna start at the tip of that nose. We're gonna go all the way across, all the way around that squircle. Just try and round off those edges uh, a little bit. There we go, just round off the edges, cross the top, look, round off the edges, down that side and back in there. Double line it again, nice and wonky. You want some fat bits in those lines, some thin bits in those lines. Smooth lines are overrated. They're difficult to draw and they're overrated. They don't look as good either. Uh, one, one last line in there, a little flick off. This is called a floater, so it's flicked off at either end. A flick off line just here, look, it's going to go like that. If you're struggling to... so. When you're flicking off your pen, what you want to be doing is trying to get a like, nice tapered end to it. If you can't get a tapered end to it, you just want to get a, uh, um, you want to do some like little dots and dashes like I've just done there. Anybody that's adding a bit of color to this, that's the bit you want to put in like with a dark color. Uh, I'm just going to add a few little lines to it later on to shade it in. Flicking off. Flicking off is my second favourite line. Double wonky is my first favourite line, which we've done there. Flick The flick off line. Uh, I, d I actually did. Uh, there's a T-shirt. You can buy a T-shirt of mine called, and it just says across it, flick off. But the L and the I are so close together. It looks a little bit like something else. I just, I love the idea of people wearing these T-shirts that are giving you like my techniques on how to draw. And it just looks, yeah, exactly just looks like a bit of an expletive right let's carry on with this then because we're getting we've got 10 minutes left <laughs> we've got a lot to draw uh, let's go and do the rest of this snout shall we so the main bit of this snout we're going to flick off across this side try and flick off towards that corner double wonky going back flicked off tapered at the end leave a little gap and then round round the corner as we as we change angle what we're going to do is down the bottom here we're going to do like a w a w shape that kind of just touches home at that right in the middle of the nose there okay so watch this look from here it's going to touch up in there and then it's going to go as it goes around the other side look just right around the edge to there that is <laughs> thank you Joe. joff has got my so i run something called the eight o'clock club which is uh, teaches adults how to draw comedy uh, comedy bits and uh, these are some of the lines that get used in the 8 o'clock club. It's a little bit similar to this, uh, but it's just for adults and we draw rude stuff. Let's double line this. Uh, yeah, look at the badges in the chat. I'm really proud of those badges. Real artists do it on the kitchen table. <laughs> right, uh, where are we up next? Let's quickly whack in some teeth. Now with these teeth, they're going to curve back a little bit, uh, like a bucket shape that's kind of waving back a little bit here so from here look bit of a bucket shape flick off in the middle from the bottom up and then flick off in the middle from the top down look at that just makes it look like two teeth but two nice teeth if you want to draw nice teeth don't draw lines in between them leave a little gap like that makes them look shiny and clean if you want to do horrible teeth then draw a line straight in between and leave gaps I said that in a live session once and then it made me think maybe I shouldn't have said that just in case people have like wonky teeth and I'm just like insulting everybody. I've got to be careful what I say in my live sessions. Right, nose done. Let's go to step two, the mouth. Mouth's nice and easy. We're going to outline that happy sausage and chuck a load of wonky teeth in there. Okay, so the wonky teeth are just a bouncy line. So outline the happy sausage. The only bits you can see are that bit and then over on the other side, that bit there. Don't forget to double line it. So to make it double wonky, both sides, don't forget, uh, well, and then go and throw those teeth in. Go nice and big with your teeth. If you go big with your teeth, that means there's less colouring in to do. So what we want to do now is just get in those behind the teeth, go and colour those bits in black. Something like that. Then let's go and put in a couple of... Uh... Thanks, Francis. I've got wonky teeth as well. Look. I know. I... My bottom set of teeth looks like a, like a, a battlement. Like an English heritage castle. I don't care. You've got to own these things, haven't you? But I just know that 
I, I don't know if you heard this, but some people on the internet can get quite easily offended, so I have to be careful what I say about anything. That's making me sound controversial, and I'm not. Uh, let's go and do, do another little flick off. Little floater. <laughs> little floater uh, on both sides. We're going to make the, because the mouth is quite wide, we're just going to put a little bit of a flap of skin either side. So just go around there, look. Double, double line it, fat monkey in the middle. Flicked off either end. Uh, remember, if you can't flick off, dot and dash it. Awesome, that's step two done. Two, step two out of seven done. We're whizzing through these now. Uh, don't forget to go and chuck some photos in the uh, in the chat if you get a chance to. Always good to see the progress shots. Let's me know whether people are keeping up all right. Uh, eyes next. Let's go and do the eyes. So with the first set of eyes, the small set of eyes, we can uh, just outline them as they are. So first set of eyes, look. Big one, small one. Outline them as they are. Double line it. Try and keep that bit in the middle really, really pointy. If not, you can get the, the fine liner pen out and make that pointy. But you want to try and keep the real sharp point uh, in there. Couple of um, pupils. Pupils are going to be ovals. Let's put one there. Let's put one there. Up in the top corner of the pupil, add another little oval for a reflection. Then colour the rest in black. Now, I know an oval doesn't have a corner, but that's good. Uh, nice work, Kitty. That's looking good. Yeah, spot on, mate. <laughs> thank you for posting a photo it's always good to see I look, it can be a little bit of a lonely sport is drawing like this um, that's why I like drawing on zoom and things like that or drawing in a in a, like a team sport kind of uh, way awesome right let's get carry on shall we what are we on next that is is that what did we just do the eyes oh yeah we're going to carry on with the eyes so you know remember we did the small eyes which we've done the eyeballs and then we did those big eyes which are going to be the eyebrows so there's two things we're going to do here one is a little flick out from the bottom following that pencil line then as we go around the top we're going to add some big chunky bits of fur so let's do some little flicks first little flick offs just there like one there one there little tiny flick offs around the corners of the eyes where all the best wrinkles are and then what we're going to do is we're going to start inside this oval head and finish off inside this oval head but we're going to do it in like uh, with a like a series of hooks so we're going to move away from this pencil line and come back to it let me show you so just coming up here look get up to the top move away from the pencil line and back in again so it's like a hook kind of shape once you've done one of those go and do another one just a little bit closer together so start on the pencil line move away from it and hook back again try and flick it off as you're coming back try and flick off those tapered ends are going to look really cool. Double line that. Make it wonky. And then over here, let's just bring that back into the head. See if you can do the same kind of thing on the other side. Okay, We're going to start on the outside. We're going to go up, hook back and around again. So just here, look. Starting inside, hook back and around. Add a few of those in. I'm pretty sure Tosh is going to be looking at this thinking, I'm glad he did a digital version for the project. <laughs> this is all about, you know, these sessions are all about just a quick fix of uh, drawing something. Don't get too precious about your artwork. It's all about enjoying the process, not the finished result. Now, there is a Corp Dogs Wen sticker. I'm sure there is. Uh, right, let's, uh, where are we at next? That's step three done. Four. Step four, head and ears. We've got three minutes left. I'm sure we'll do it. Step four, head and ears. Okay, so the first thing we'll do, let's kind of start over on this side. We're going to follow that pencil line. Just as we get to the ear there, just a little flick off. Stay on the pencil line. Get to there, little flick off. Double lining as you're going along. Yeah, make these lines nice and wonky as you're going along. Then we're going to take a little break and we're going to start again just before the ear comes back. But as we get down here, start doing those hooks again. So look, bring it back in there, add a little hook, add a little hook, just for little bits of fluff. Travel down the neck. When you get to this bit, the chin bit, just a little tiny curve up. Nice work, Biggie. That's looking good, mate. 
<laughs> Tosh, that's brutal. Uh, let's go down here. Look. Follow that pencil line. When you get to about this point, just a little tiny flick up. And we're going to do some little kind of like curves going up around the chin. Let's double line all of this. Remembering to flick off where you can, make your lines fat and wonky where you can. Especially underneath. Anytime you go underneath a character, that's where the shadows are, so you can afford to go a little bit thicker with your lines there. Right, let's get back into this ear. We're going to quickly do the ear again with the little hooks, yeah? Follow the pencil line, deviate away from the pencil line, and then hook back. So just here, hook back. One more time, hook back, bring it home all the way around, yeah? Those hooks, flick them off. Everything else, double wonky. Now, when you're doing wonky lines, there's two things, two things, two ways of doing the wonky lines. The first bit is like randomness. So you just want fat bits, thin bits in that line all over the place. That kind of the only the only consistent thing about your lines should be how inconsistent they are. As long as it's inconsistent across the whole picture, it's going to look OK. Secondly, though, you kind of want a little bit of strategy in that double wonky line. OK, and strategy means like when you make a mistake. Just use the wonky line to cover over any mistakes. But also when you've got intersections where two lines kind of join each other like that. Just there, that's an intersection. You can make that bit of your line just a little bit thicker. It's usually where the shadows live, so you can go a little bit thicker with it. OK, let's get into that ear. Let's go and put a little nipple in. Flick that way. Flick that way. There's our inner ear. Okay, down in the chin, look. Let's put another little little chin. Just coming from that line, just curving up very, very slightly again. Uh, let's bring the main part of the head home. We're going to start over here, get on that pencil line, go straight through this here this time. When you get down to the chin here, a couple of hooks, and then bring that line all the way home to the chin there. All the way there, look, a couple of hooks. Use that pencil line as a guide so you know where you're hooking around. And then one more time, just bring it home there. Double line it. Don't forget those uh, techniques for double lining. Completely randomness, but also that strategy of making these bits a little bit thicker. Strong intersections, that's what I call it. There you go, something like that. We're getting there. If you've got a little bit of space in here, there between the ears, uh, between the eyes, don't forget to finish that little line between the eyes. Hold it all together so that your, your head is one like solid shape now. Let's go and throw in the uh, oh, unlucky C. Um, let's go and throw in the uh, the other ear. Same process for the other ear. You should be getting used to this now. Little hook, little hook. Bring it home. Double line it. Strong intersections. Flicking off around the end of that hook. Fat. Wonky, fat. Do the inner ear, which is that little nipple, and a little flick off around there. It looks like a number a number five. Yeah, it looks a little bit like a number five or an S in there. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's go and put in belly, body, nips is the next stage. So we're just going to move down a little bit. Uh, that's down, isn't it? We're just going to move down a little bit and start doing this belly now, okay? Just a handful of lines in here. This is going to be relatively simple. What we're going to do is let's go and do the front of the belly first. You're going to start just here. Belly, body, nips. That's right. So belly first. Belly, that line there, just as, just as you get inside that pencil line, flick off. Double line it. Nice and wonky. Fat line. That's an intersection as you go off the page, so you won't be fat there. Then repeat that on the other side of the belly, yeah? So it's going to start about here. Flicked off or flicked on, depending on how you look at it. And uh, there's our there's our fat belly. Now we can do the rest of the body. Uh, nice and easy with the body. The only thing we've got to remember is we're, we're going to put a neck in first. Neck in, join the shoulders. When you get to the corner of the shoulders, uh, a little hook for some fluff. And then go down the arm, okay? So watch this. Look, just figure out where, where your neck's going to be. Neck's going to be about there. You're going to go around there. Little hook. Little hook. Down the arm. Easy, yeah? 
Let's do that again. So go down the neck, cross the shoulder, little hook, flick it back in, another little hook, flick it back in, and then down the outside of the arm just there. Let's do the inner arm and the armpit. So this is where you want to kind of come from this belly, this bit of belly here. Look, you want to put a line up there, get into the shoulder, and then a little flick on the inside for a little armpit. Double line that. Actually, I quite like the way these shoulders are turning out. They're a bit stronger than the ones I did in the uh, in the digital piece. Let's go and do the other side. The other side is nice and simple. No hooks on the other side. We're just going to come down the other side of the neck, cross the shoulder, down the uh, arm or the chest area there. Just try and curve it all out a bit. You don't want any sharp corners in there. So from there, look, cross there, down there. Double line it. Belly, body, nips. The nips are just two capital C's. Technically floaters, technically double-ended flick-offs as well. Let's go and put one in there. And let's go and put one about there. If you really want to make them stick out even further, I've got a tip for you. Throw in a little shadow underneath, look. Just there. <laughs> if you want to make them stick out, throw in that little shadow underneath, look. Just makes them pop out a little bit more. I'm teaching you all the uh, fundamentals of uh, anatomy. Drawing, that is. Okay, how are we doing for this? Right, we're not going to put, put a cap on this character. You could put a cap on the top. We're going to leave it as it is. The thing we're going to do, though, is just going to use that fat pen just a couple more times uh, just to flick off some hairs, okay? Uh, how's that looking? Joff, that's looking good, mate. Just bring that line just here down a little bit so that everything around here is joined up. It's like you're, you, you don't want any gaps around here. You want to start joining those bits up. But the rest of it is looking really good. <laughs> Awesome stuff. Uh, yeah, but what we want to do is let's uh, let's go and flick off some hairs. Look. So just in here, every now and then, maybe across the shoulder there, just flick off, across the belly, flick off everywhere. Just do a couple here and there. That's nice. And then the last thing I would do with, uh, with this piece, obviously with the original piece, check out the uh, Beavs NFT uh, piece on, on, their, uh, on their Twitter feed, on their X feed. Um, it's got a cap on as well because I always wear a black cap. That's like my uh, that's, this is my cape. So um, uh, I put a black cap on this character as well, just specifically for that reason. We're not going to draw that today though, so you can put whatever you want on the hat on the head. Stick a crown in. Do whatever you want on there. Leave it uh, with a bone sticking out of it. It's totally up to you. What we are going to do though now, the last thing we're going to do to this character is. Um, Get in with a fine liner and just add a few little tiny details. We're in the home straight now. This is the last little bit. The kind of details I'd be adding in is one is I'd be going through the nose and just putting little lines through the nose. Now, if you're using color, you just want to put the bit of darkness. I should mention as well, this is definitely with a fine liner, yeah? And what happens is because you're using a much thinner pen, it doesn't interfere, it shouldn't interfere with those primary lines, those fat lines that you've got. So go and do that first, some little lines down there. See how it just kind of brings that mid-tone in? Let's flick off a few little lines in the teeth for a bit of graining. Flick from the bottom, flick from the top. Don't think about it too much, just go and flick it off. Uh, it's why I call this doodling and not drawing, because doodling is drawing without thinking. Uh, and that's what I like to teach. I like to teach that kind of like, just get lost in the zone, just go and do whatever you think looks right. Well, what else do we want to shade in? Let's go and shade in. Oh yeah, yeah. Fat pen. Let's just go and we're gonna we're gonna send the body a little bit further back by just putting a little black bit just there, look, to create a little shadow. It's just a nice neat trick of making it look like that jaw is really hanging over. You could even do the same with the teeth, look. Just throwing a little drop shadow there for the teeth. Just to make them look like they're sticking out a little bit more as well. Finish off. What do you want to put around the outside? I always like just putting little spots around the outside. 
I think one of the agreements, one of the things I really wanted to do with the, the uh, digital version of this is just keep the background to that consistent color and not really fuss around the background too much, leave it nice and plain. But if I'm doing a drawing, I always like to just put a few little spots and maybe chuck in a few little flies as well. Always put a fly upside down. I like making it look a little bit stinky. Makes me laugh. So something like that. Any other little bits you want to put in? So maybe some little quote marks. Don't think about it too much. Just go and chuck in some quote marks everywhere. Little hashtags as well. If you want to look, make something look a little bit beaten up, maybe put a hashtag on the belly, hashtag on the head. Just go and throw in some hashtags. If you want to make this character look sweaty, let's put some little drips in as well. Look. Little U shapes. All optional stuff. You don't have to put any of this in. I just like doing this kind of stuff. Another little bit of hair down there. I'm going to throw in a 30 second cap. If you want to join me, this is how you do a cap. You just do one big scoop all the way across there, back in. That's the peak of the cap. Then you take a little line from the top, go across and down. One more little line to go around the back of the cap and a button across the top. And there you've got a, a cap in there. What I would do, Biggie, that's looking fantastic. It does look a bit pregnant. Looks like it's had a good life. Love the way the man boobs, the moobs are just kind of balancing on the belly there. Just as they should. Very nice. Uh, a little bit of stitching in the cap. If ever you do anything that's got fabric in it, go and put some stitching in it. Uh, if you do put a cap on, just have a little think about what you want to put in that cap in the front of the cap. It's a good opportunity to personalise it. I always like just putting skulls in just because they're nice and easy to draw. But you put whatever you want in. And that is, I think that's a wrap. That's how to draw at Beeves in. We did that in 30 minutes. So well done, everybody. Um, what we're going to do now is, uh, last thing to do, sign it if you like it. If you don't like it, put somebody else's name on it. Nice big signature. Don't sign it in pencil on the back where nobody can see it. Sign it with your name, nice and big, on the front where everybody uh, can see it. And uh, there we go. I think that's a wrap. What we're going to do now is just take take our time, finish off, throw your photos in the chat so we can have a little look uh, afterwards as well. Once you've finished in this chat, go and look in the uh, the share your art channel on the discord go and throw your artwork in there as well it's always good i love to see what people have been drawing um and yeah if you share it around on uh on x facebook instagram whatever social channel you're on uh please tag us let people know what you're up to but yeah hope you enjoyed that we're not going yet we've got a couple of bits to do uh just one last thing to do is that joff is now going to put everybody's name everybody who's here into uh, the uh, we call it the wheel of losers I mean, I call it the Wheel of Losers because, um, and then we're going to pick out somebody who's won the, uh, what were they called again? The Chips on Say? Somebody's going to win the Chips on Say. Here it comes. So just have a little look in the videos. Chips. And uh, just makes, oh, look at that. Very nice. I see what you've done there, Joff. That's awesome. Um, make sure your name's in there. Uh, anybody that's in the conversation, just to have a little look at that screen. I think you just need to tap it. Tap it once. Uh, it goes bigger. Right, let's have a little look, see what pictures that people have been putting in. We've seen Biggie's picture. Okay. Kitty's in there twice. So yeah, in twice for sharing, yeah? Now, I like the idea of uh, everybody winning their own competitions. Something we don't do enough of. <laughs> Not going to bring that one up again. Uh, Volts. Yeah, nice work, mate. <laughs> Look at the belly on that one. That's got some like alien stuff going on in there. That's brilliant. <laughs> Little bit. It just needs a bit of fluff around the ears, uh, Volts. And then that is absolutely spot on. Love it. I, and you, I, I assume you've done that digitally. It looks like it's digital. It'd be great to kind of chuck some colour in there. Very crisp. 
do love a crispy line. Fantastic. Nice work. Anybody else? You did it on Photoshop. I didn't even know you could draw on Photoshop. Drawing with a mouse. Don't tell me you were drawing with a mouse. It's like I can't, I can't get anybody. I can't get anybody to turn up for this session with a sharpie. But everyone, people are turning up with like Photoshop drawing with a mouse. Uh, look at that. That's looking nice. Uh, are you gonna are you gonna stick some Posca on that, Biggie, or is that a finished piece? <laughs> the scribble's looking nice, yeah. Uh, do you, are they the Posca colours that you've got? Awesome. That, my my suggestion is try try and get some. If you get any more colours, try and get some that like contrast really nicely with those colours. So like for example, you've got. You got light green in there, yeah. You got that one. You got this really nice. Let's see if you can go and pick up just a regular green as well, because what that does is that unlocks the ability to be able to do like a little bit of shading with your pieces. So... Yeah, yeah. Let me. Uh... So like this one, look. You see the zombie, look. We've got the light green and the dark green. Just creates a little bit of. Bye. So finding those complementary colours. So the same, you've got light blue. Go and get a sky blue as well. It will just it will take your artwork up in, at next level. Which one? This is the one that's completed. I'll just quickly I'll quickly flick through it. Yeah, it's all shared on socials. This I finished this the other day. Uh, there's the puking pig. One of my favourites. That was. I mean, where was she going to get workshops that show you how to draw a, a puking pig? But yeah, uh, and yeah, how to draw a, a axe going through a zombie's head? You need to know how to draw this stuff. But yeah, I have a theme for the week. So, like, the theme for the week was ghosts. Theme for the week was retro artists. Theme for the week was sea creatures. And then it's like I just kind of develop different characters. So that, that's, um, what's his name? Jeff, the land shark? Yeah, yeah. So as for like specific cartoons and stuff like that, uh, as well as just making stuff up. But all of these are all of these are planned out. So every drawing I do takes less than an hour, and that's teaching it. That's going step by step, less than an hour. And so yeah, I do spend a bit of time kind of like developing it and keeping the uh, keeping the pieces simple. Uh, arts, Arsi Natty, that is looking fantastic. I, I'm absolutely loving the shape of that head as well on there, <laughs> the shape of the belly. Everyone's gone crazy with the bellies. The bellies look great on these pictures today. Excellent stuff. Uh, thank you. Arthur. What are you doing? Shuffling some names. Let me know when you're ready to spit. <laughs> Let's do it again. No way. Oh, who's that? It's right in between. I can't see. Kitty, well, well done, Kitty. Excellent stuff. Uh, let's give you one of these. <laughs> That's three people giving you a round of applause. Well done, Kitty. Thank you very much for taking part. Uh, Kitty, um, just uh, reach out to Joff at some stage and we'll figure out how to, how to get you in. So I think Kitty's one of my um, Corp Academy students who's come into Discord, so hopefully being onboarded into Say uh, as we speak for this. So that is awesome. Uh, nice one. Yeah, congratulations, mate. Like I say, just message Joff or message me and uh, we'll get you sorted out. Uh, but yeah, well done. Thank you. Awesome stuff. Um, excellent. Brilliant. Thank you very much for turning up, everybody. Uh, we've overrun by a couple of minutes, but I hope you enjoyed that session. Uh, back again 
maybe next week, maybe not next week. I'm not sure. Um, usually I take a week off next week, but I'm enjoying this so much. We might be back again for next week. Do me a favor, just share it around. Let people know that uh, what you're doing uh, and that you're enjoying it. Um, uh, the, this only grows because of you, not because of us sharing it. So, um, yeah, thanks very much for turning up. And um, Joff and I will see you all again next week. Take care, everybody. Well done. See ya. Cheers, mate. Bye-bye.